Today's episode of Fallout 4 Console Mods is brought to you by Gamefly. Gamefly allows you to rent games from their catalogue of over 8,000 new releases and classic titles. Sign up for your free premium 30-day trial at GameflyOffer.com slash Royal Gorilla. A link is in the description. Hey there guys, I'm the Royal Gorilla and welcome back to Fallout 4 to take a look at some more console mods. Today we're going to be taking a look at about 6 or so mods and we have got some really cool ones to be taking a look at today. You may have already noticed our first mod, this is the Nightmare Batman outfit which is based on the Batman vs Superman outfit in the Nightmare of course. And there are a few different variants of this, we will be taking a more in depth look at it later. But for now, you can see that... Wait, where did Kate go? Oh, she's over there. You can see that Kate is wearing a female version of the outfit. And for some reason, she wants to talk to me. There we go. She's wearing the female version, which is also a bit darker. You can also have this one, but I will show you all this later. And I'm wearing the male version. So it's a really, really cool mod. And it's really well made. So we'll take a really cool look at that later. So stay tuned for that. So first up, we are going to be taking a quick look at a mod which... I've been trying to get to work and I'm not entirely sure if I'm doing it right or whatever. We're here at Diamond City because in the dugout inn you are able to pick up this beauty which uh, it's called the gravity gun and that's gravity not gravity. That's not just me having a weird speech defect or something. It is based on the gravity gun of course from the Half-Life series but it's a kind of fallout take on it so it's just a plasma pistol. A plasma pistol model, would you say? I think so. It's just red. But it's supposed to work in a similar way to the gravity gun. But I really just don't think it does. So, oh wait, hang on. It seems to be working a bit better this time. Okay, it kind of gets things caught up. So even though I just shot that other woman, I seem to have Kate now. But can I put her in the air? I can. Yeah, there we go. So apparently if I tap hit, it should launch them. Which it doesn't. What if I fire? Oh, that seemed to work. Or did I just destroy her? Oh, she's back. See, I, I'm not quite sure if I'm doing this right. It's a bit weird. So I want to shoot her again because I want to I wanna lob her. She seems like the one I want to have some fun with. But it just doesn't work. I don't really understand what I'm doing. Kate seems to... Okay, Kate's just gone flying for some reason. I, I honestly have no idea what I'm doing with this. I'm going to keep it with me. And see if we can work it out as we go. We do have uh, quite a few mods to be taking a look at today. I don't know if I already mentioned. Did I mention we're looking at six mods? Well, we are. We're looking at six mods, so we're going to have to do this. Whoa! Okay, she's gone flying now. I, I honestly have no idea how this mod works. It's very weird, and it just sort of... It just sort of bugs out half the time. I do believe it is a work in progress, which is very apparent. Come on, please. I just want to launch her. You're not going to launch for me. No, she's not. Oh well, that is the gravity gun. Not working 100% well, but hopefully one day it will get fixed. And maybe when it is, we will take another look at it. I did hear that you can um, you can pick up cars and that kind of thing. And these should have physics. I swear they have physics. No, they don't. Um, if we find a car, maybe we'll be able to pick it up. There's one over there, but that doesn't look like one we can move. That one maybe? What do you reckon? Oh, okay. That just disappeared. That's all that happened there. It disappeared. Did it go in the air or something? No, I don't think so. This mod is really weird. I don't understand if I'm just using it wrong or or what. Let's let's have a quick read because I, I found out you could do this the other day. I didn't realise that you can actually do this. You can actually look at the mods that you're using while you're using it. So, no spoilers, no spoilers. Uh, yeah, there you go. There's no spoilers. They're just ones we've used before. Add a prototype gravity gun like weapon to the game, fire fling NPCs, some items, props, in particular broken cars in the commonwealth. Okay, how to use. Once you have it equipped, simply point and fire at the object you want to acquire. If you acquire it successfully, you should be able to pivot your camera around the around and acquire the uh, this is confusing. Pivot the object around the acquired object. Hapless NPC animated object and then you should try to go distance. Once that happens, either bash or simply fire the gun again to throw the object. Okay. That's all very simple. It seems to be what I'm doing. So, let's fire at her. So, now can we pivot the gun around her? No, no, we're just pivoting the camera around me. Or, or does it mean like you can do that and it takes it with you? So, we've definitely got Kate. That's for sure. 
So can we launch Kate over in that direction? Nope, she just went straight up and she's gone flying. Okay. It's lucky she's Batman, to be honest, because otherwise that would have really hurt. Although I'm pretty sure she did just break her back as she landed on that tree. Hey, she definitely is Batman. He broke his back. So we've travelled here to Vault 111 to take a look at another mod. And unusually, for some reason, I'm invisible. And I don't know why I'm invisible, but I can't not be invisible. This is a weird bug, and it's kind of ruining one of my mods, because I have a new Pip-Boy on, but clearly you can't see that now that I'm invisible. I'm going to have to fix that before I show the mod off. Anyway, the reason we are here is because there should be another holotape around here somewhere. If it's actually bothered to spawn, we should actually have one in our inventory anyway, just in case. Apparently there was one in the little building here. This is the only little building there, isn't it? Unless, oh, there's another one there. Let's, let's try out this building. If not, we should hopefully have it in our inventory. Otherwise, this is another mod that hasn't worked. And this will be the episode of Broken Mods, apparently. Huh. It doesn't look like it's here. Right, let's have a quick look in our inventory, which is going to be annoying because of this blooming invisibility. Right, let's... Here we go. We want to just go down and we're looking for S. Oh, god damn it. It's another one that's not working. I'm going to have to fix this before we carry on. So first up, we're not invisible anymore, which is one big tick for the fixed bugs. I'm gonna try and not go in stealth mode because I think maybe that's what's triggering it. We'll just we'll just make sure that we don't do that, and hopefully it should be. Yes, it's here. This is the next mod we're gonna be taking a look at. It's one I've actually been looking for for quite a bit of time, and it's something I've been really looking forward to. There it is, spawn NPCs. And for some reason, I have four of them. How peculiar. So in this mod, it's pretty much what I was looking for in like episode 1 and 2. It's a mod where you can just spawn as many NPCs and mobs as you want pretty much. And it's got preset wars. I feel, I feel like that's like um, ghouls and raiders, super mutants and raiders, ghouls and super mutants. So they'll go off against each other. Huh, that's pretty cool. So let's try out what we can bring in. So... Companions, simps, raiders, brotherhood, robots, ghouls, super mutants. Wow, there is a lot of stuff we can bring in. Shall we just test it out? What creature can we have? Let's have a... What's a misc? An alien. Let's bring in an alien. Why not? And a gorilla. Let's get a gorilla as well. Maybe the gorilla will fight the alien. Oh, okay. They're actually fighting each other as well as me. And the gorilla kicked its ass. Beautiful. And now the gorilla's kicking my ass. Do you know who I am? I am your king. I'm going to have to punch you to death. Who's going to win? Batman or a gorilla? This is a, a fight of the ages. You know what? I should have had this gorilla fight in um, Godzilla last week. That would have been interesting. I wonder if I could scale him up somehow. I'm sure there's a mod to do that. Oh, you know what we should be using? Where is the gravity gun? Maybe we can just fling this guy off into the ether. Uh, right. Come here, mate. Oh, we got him. We got him. And... Away you go! He didn't go anywhere. Now he's just gone over there. Yeah, this gravity gun leaves a lot to be desired. Is he Is he still alive? He is. He's coming back. You are one persistent mother. Are you going to just fight Kate now? Although, she has picked up the alien's rifle. That was uh, an unexpected change there. Who's, why can this guy not die? Is he just not going to die? Oh no, now he's dead. Huh. Well, that was a pretty cool thing. Oh my god, that one went flying. I didn't even fire that. That just glitched out. Ha! Huh, so that is the spawn NPCs. We'll obviously be playing with that a lot more. It's probably going to be one of the mods that stays with us quite a lot. Because that is incredibly useful just to be able to bring stuff in. What's under friendlies? Oh, so you can actually... Oh, okay. So where is creatures? Can I not... Creatures soon. Oh, no, it's not been brought in yet. Damn it. What's useless? A useless male. Okay, let's see what that is. And we'll also bring in... Uh, oh, I don't know what we should do. A gunner? Super mutant. Let's have a super mutant. That sounds pretty cool. Wow, there are currently loads of them. Uh, let's have a an ancient behemoth. Why not? That should be friendly towards us as well. Spawned. Wow, there you go. That was a bit of lag there. But we now have a friendly behemoth wandering around. And is this the useless human? It is. You look pretty useless... Can I, can I, yeah, you're, you're actually entirely useless because I can't even fire you. Oh, nope, there you go. Uh, what about the, uh, oh my god, I can fire him as well. Where did he go? Whoa, 
Whoa, I swear, I'm not even pressing any buttons right now. I'm just looking around. So the behemoth just went off into space, apparently, and the other guy... Something similar. I'm going to stop playing with that gun. Let's, um... Let's head down to Sanctuary because it's not an episode of Fallout 4 console mods without us heading into Sanctuary. Home sweet home. And you may notice there will be quite a few little tweaks and changes to this place. You can already see actually there are quite a few new trees. And that is a really cool mod which we are going to be taking a look at. This is also part of it but we will come back to that. Let's have a little rundown of what's new in the area. We have some cars around the place just to kind of... Make it feel a little more alive. They are pre-war stuff, of course, and we are lagging terribly because there's so much stuff here now. The game's having a bit of a problem loading it up. You'll notice there is an entirely new building, which I, um... It's not the most interestingly built building in the world. It is just a giant square, pretty much, but it has its purpose. It has its purpose, like everything in this place, and it's also just loads of trees about. They are the main changes. And uh, this place looks really cool. It's looking cooler every time we come back here. So let's head inside here. Oh, look. We'll also see there's a Batman logo right there, which is actually part of the Nightmare Batman Outfits mod, which is a nice little addition. I do like that. So inside here, there are a load of new stuff in here, which we will come back to. But let's go and have a look at the Batman suits, because that is something we said we would do. That's something we need to do. So up in here, we have already got this all ready for us because I am prepared this week. That is kind of the theme of this week, preparation. So here we have every variation of what you can have. And the cowl is separate to the duster. So you can have any, like, which way you want of it, basically. So we have the cowl with the mask and the goggles on the head. The cowl with just the goggles on the head, which I believe I am wearing. Yep, I am wearing that one. That's my favorite. The one without the goggles or the mask. I think the mask's on the neck on that one. Or that might be part of the duster. And these are the female variants, which are exactly the same. So this is um, goggles down. Uh, goggles down and mask up. And that is goggles up. That one's the same. I just think I wanted to show you what that one looks like on a girl. So then there are just two types of duster. There is the dark duster and the regular duster. I do think I prefer having the... Um, the normal one on the male characters and the darker one on the females. I just, I don't know, that just feels a bit emo on the guys. Whereas on the girls, it looks good. So yeah, they are all the different variations of the Nightmare Batman costume. You can have you just make them in the old chemistry workbench like we have quite a lot of mods so far. And it is very nice. If you combine it with, say, black face paint, you can make the eyes look a lot better and stuff. But I am very fond of this mod, and I do very much like it. It's one of my favourite um, outfits we have looked at so far. And that might just be because of the new Justice League trailer, which I just watched. And, oh god, that looks good. I don't even care. That looks really, really good. So, next up, let's head downstairs. I don't believe there's anything new up here apart from that. No, there's not. So, you may notice that things are looking a little bit cleaner. And that is due to a Low Poly's Settlement Furniture mod. Which pretty much adds in a whole load of new furniture, including these pristine couches and TVs with actual people on rather than just nothing. For some reason, there's a candle on the floor there. I didn't put that there. I also put this here, so we have some alcohol in here. I tried to flesh this place out a bit with this mod. It looks a little bit better than it ever has before. It's kind of less empty. It's pretty empty still because I am no interior designer by a long shot, so... I apologise for that. Over here we have a nice new computer terminal which is all very clean. This is all stuff that actually comes built into it so you can't take this stuff off individually even though I want that bubble head. Anyway, uh, we have a shelf over here. comes fully stocked. Oh, it's actually got little robots on it. I never noticed that before. That's really cool. Downstairs we have a few new rugs. So I will actually explain this to you a bit more in depth in a minute but there are different sections to this mod. So you can have say, this is institute stuff. Um, which is obviously stuff from the Institute. Then you've got the pre-war and it gives you this kitchen set Which is really really cool. I do love this being able to actually have a proper kitchen in your settlement is It's pretty nice. You don't really have counters and that kind of thing you can put out and this is cool I do like this. There's a lot of detail that's gone into this I believe they're just stuff from the start of the game that like five minute section when you're in the past But yeah, this hasn't changed at all. I think that's all the changes I've made in this building most of the other stuff that comes with this mod I've put in our new building. So let's go in there and have a look. Also these bikes. This bike and all the cars are all part of this mod. So let's have a 
It's a Vault Tech truck over here, I believe. Yeah, there is. So there you go. This is a, a Vault Tech truck, and there is a car over there. There's a car over there somewhere. You can just see it over by the red door. All these trees are part of this mod as well. They all come from the pre war section, I believe, including this blooming massive tree, which I think is the one that should be in the middle of this platform here, the one that's dead in the normal game. That's very cool. So let's head inside through the new mailbox, which is also part of the mod. In here, it's this is pretty Spartan as well. There's not much in here at the moment, but in here we've actually tried to show off some of this new stuff. Let's turn the light back on. We have a radio, which is from our house, I do believe. Um, Mr. Handy? Anyone want a Mr. Handy? I don't know where Codsworth is. I haven't seen him in a long time. Same shelf we've seen before. Dining table, fully laid out. Very, very nice. These shelves come stocked already. That's just a box of stuff. I put the teddy bear there because he's cute and he can watch you cook. Probably a fire hazard being that close to the stove thinking about it, but hey-ho, who cares? Dog bowl, why not? And this is a shelf I made myself. That's why it looks so bad and in fact some of it's floating. That's a bit weird. Washers, dryers, whatever the hell that thing is, I have no idea. It's like a chimney or something, I don't know. Wash basket. Most interesting thing in the world is a wash basket. Uh, and over here we've got a kind of pre-war living room type thing. Just TV and more sofas. Nothing really new that you haven't seen in the game before, but you now have access to build with it. And this is all, of course, in the normal building menu, which we will bring up. Is it coming up? There we go. So it's actually right here. Low poly's furniture pack. And then you have pre-war furniture, which... It's pretty much all of the nice stuff that's not broken. There's a few more bits in here that I haven't actually used anywhere, like beds and there's flags and all that kind of stuff. There's also um, these gardens that you can put outside. So we could have some nice gardens out the front, but yeah. Oh, this pathway is also part of it, but I don't actually like that. I'm going to get rid of that. Yeah, let's kill that. There you go. That's gone. And of course, all of the cars, which are very nice. So if you want to build a car showroom, totally something you can do. Even though these cars are not the, well, I guess they fit the universe, but whoever designed them, bit of a weirdo. They're not the nicest cars in the world, although that thing looks fun to drive. Is that a nice way to put it? It's fun. Yeah, anyway, let's uh, have a look at what other ones we have. We have vault furniture, which is just the stuff that you can find in vaults. What are they? The vault floor mats. That's a bit weird. I've never seen them before. Huh. They're pretty cool. They come in loads of different sizes, uh, vault chairs, vault tables, vault shelves, chests, and a vault van. This is where I got the vault van from. There you go. Uh, what else do we have? Institute stuff. This is all very normal stuff. You see this in the game all the time if you're part of the institute. Let's not look at towel rails. Is that towel rails? I don't know. This is where I got those rugs from. I do quite like these rugs. doesn't fit in there, though, unfortunately. Beds and all that kind of stuff. And then this is the Brotherhood of Steel Furniture, which doesn't give you quite a lot. It, all it really gives you is these pieces of kind of, what do you call them? Like barrier walls. And I've put a few of them over the back here. Why is everyone just stood there? It's the middle of the night. You should all be in bed. Very weird. Okay, so here we have the Brotherhood stuff. Which, it all clips together quite nicely, actually. I didn't realise it would actually clip together. I thought you'd have to do it. But no, you can just clip it together like you can anything else in the game when you build. So that is very nice. And you can get some really quite strong protection out of this. So if you want to build the walls around your base with something cool, get hold of this mod because it's got a lot of cool stuff in it. And you can make some really nice settlements with it. Oh, you know what? I've completely forgotten. I haven't shown you... Oh, I've gone invisible again. Every time I want to show you this Pip-Boy mod, I go invisible. How weird. That's actually a really weird bug. I don't. I haven't gone the invisible mode since. So I don't know why I am invisible again. I don't know if it's something to do with a bat suit maybe. Or if I've got any stealth boys on me. Maybe if I... Um, no, I don't even have any stealth boys on me. I thought maybe I was getting them applied automatically or something. But that is a weird one. I'm going to have to reload the game again to show you that. But... Oh, that's annoying. Right, let's head upstairs. Our next mod is... It's pretty cool. It's a power armor mod, which is going to be one of the first ones we've taken a look at. And there it is over there in its pretty cool power armor frame. This is the combat power armor, I believe it's called. It is called that, and it's based on the Warhammer 40k universe. And it's pretty damn beefy. This looks really cool. So let's, um, let's get ourselves in it. 
Oh, hopefully it won't turn invisible. I will be so annoyed if it turns invisible. You can't do that to power armor, can you? Uh, is it invisible? Oh my god, it's invisible. I'm going to have to reload the game. Give me a second. For goodness sake, I just reloaded the game and I'm still invisible. I have no idea why it's doing that and it's really beginning to annoy me. So I'm not even going to bother. Let's put the um, power armor in this station so we can actually have a look at it. And we will do some work on it so we can have a look at some of the paint jobs. Because this thing is absolutely loaded with paint jobs. And it's pitch black in here so we're going to need some light. Let's sort that out first. Ah, so here's the great news. Uh, it's gone even worse for us now. I can't even see the Pip-Boy screen. For goodness sake. Third time's a charm. Are we still invisible? No, we're not. Yes, we're back. Beautiful. So hopefully we should actually be able to use the Pip-Boy. There we go. You may have noticed that is the bog standard pit boy. I had to uninstall it because I think that's probably the problem I was having. It was going to be a purple and black pit boy, I believe. But unfortunately, you're not going to get to see that now because it's bugging out too much. So let's quickly make it daytime and then we'll have a look at this power armor. Right, that's looking a bit better. I can actually see what we're doing now. So this is the power armor and it's the marine mark. Well, it's with different marks, isn't it? I can improve them. Yeah, I can. I can make them all better. And it's going to probably be a pretty powerful set of power armor when it's done. So, um, where is the torso? There's the torso. So, we'll make that as good as it can possibly be. And we can do some misc mods, which looks like your standard ones. Blood cleanser, yeah, yeah, yeah. And a jetpack. Oh my god, that jetpack looks insane. I need to have a look at that. Right, this is the cool part. The paint. And there's apparently tons of different paint jobs you can do to this thing. Oh, it's not that many. Oh no, there is. There's loads more down the bottom. Okay. You can go yellow. We can go blue. Is that vault tech Oh, vault tech looks really cool. We could go with the yellow, the steel hands. Um, I don't really know. I don't really know what any of these are. I'm going to go for the vault tech Because that looks like a really cool color scheme already. So let's leave that as it is. We'll just quickly do all of the upgrades I can to this. And then we'll have a look at how it looks. So here we have it. This is the full vault tech paint job. And I actually recognize this armor. I'm not actually at all familiar with Warhammer, but this is one that I do recognize, and I'm not sure what from. This is a really, really cool set of power armor, and I absolutely love that jetpack. Oh, it does actually have the flames coming out of the back. That is really, really cool. It's got plenty of other paint jobs, so um, yeah, let's take a look at another. So here we have the Steel Hands paint job. It is very, very yellow. But I don't need to tell you that. It's another really cool one. I think we should have a look at one more before we finish looking at this mod. This abomination is pretty much a combination of all the different paint jobs you can have. I don't remember half the names of them, but this one's like Dire Wolves and Red Hands or just some really weird ones. Oh, I believe that arm on the right hand side is the Crusader. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I do really like this power armor and the kind of customization you can do to it is really nice because a lot of the actual regular Fallout ones, they're all very bland and dull and hardly make much of a difference apart from the um, like the hot rod or the shark paint job. But these ones are nice and bright. I do like to have a bit of brightness in the world from time and time again. Oh, I think that's why I like Sanctuary so much because it is probably the brightest place we have at the minute. Anyway, um, I do believe that is pretty much it for all of the mods that we're going to be taking a look at today. We do, of course, have one final thing to do. Because we haven't tried out what that war feature was on that holotape yet. I need to see what that does. So, um, yeah, I think we're going to start a bit of a war in Sanctuary and see what happens. So, preset wars. Who shall we go against? Shall we start small and go ghouls and raiders? We'll spawn five of each NPC. Oh, is that it? Really? Oh, that sounds depressing. That's quite small. Did it actually work? No, I don't think it did work. Maybe I had to press it again. Okay. All right, let's try that once more. So, ghouls and raiders. Ghouls and raiders, please. Is it actually working? Oh, no, there you go. Oh, I spawned a little more than I should have. So, uh, it's not much of a war, is it? I think we need more. Of course, we need more. So... Let's go preset wars. Let's go ghouls and raiders, super mutants, ghouls and raiders, super mutants. I'm totally not saying the right things as I'm pressing these buttons. I just want to spawn absolutely loads in. What else can we have? Default NPCs. Should you get some synths in? Uh, what's a synth eradicator? That sounds weird. Let's just get one of every synth. Why not? There's no courses there. Oh, how unusual. So we can have some brotherhood maybe. Brotherhood knight. Let's have a, a knight aspirant and a normal knight. 
We are going to just absolutely bomb this place with absolutely tons of enemies. It's probably going to absolutely destroy my game, but it's going to be interesting. A Siege Breaker Sentry Bot. Why not? Let's just bring that guy in. He sounds violent. Creatures, we can have a... Uh, what's in Misk? That's where the gorilla was. Let's have a couple of gorillas because those guys are pretty strong. The alien. No, I have a junkyard dog. That sounds rubbish. Yao Guai. Uh, an albino. Why not? And a glowing and a normal... My god, this is probably going to absolutely destroy my game. Should we have a companion? Who can we bring in? Cotsworth, Dog, Paladin, Dance, Preston Garvey, Liberty Prime. Uh, yes, please. Okay, let's do this. Are we ready? That didn't lag as much as I was expecting, actually, considering there are literally loads of people on the screen right now. Okay, that's... Yeah, that's a pretty big fight going on now. Ah, huh. It's not quite as intense as I was expecting. Ah. Um, I broke the game. Well, I guess that's the end of the episode. His name is Luke and he's more than your average gamer. No ordinary let's player. No bug Easter eggs much better. Da 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 da. His name is Luke, aka the Roy Gorilla. Even bigger than the giant Godzilla. Follow him in every game he goes. Da 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 da. He's almost got everything you need from GTA 5 to Assassin's Creed.